On this version of the Hatter Sports Report, we have girls basketball highlights, a press conference announcing college lacrosse scholarships, and Bill Rowland with two superstar athlete interviews. Let's begin with girls basketball highlights as they take on Lower Moreland. Mr. Anderson gives us this report. The Hatters entering the game with a 1-1 record, and this game marked Lower Moreland's season opener. First quarter, score tied to three when Lower Moreland in transition, and Aaron Prispolinski scores from underneath to give the Lady Lions a 5-3 lead early. Now into the second quarter, 5.02 left, HH leading 13-12 when Kylie Halco nails his three-pointer at the top of the key to extend the lead 16-12. Second quarter, Hatters up 20-12, and senior Haley Seifert follows her own shot to give the Lady Hatters a 10-point lead. Now we move to the third quarter. Hatters up 23-18. Seifert again in the highlight package. Scores on the break to give the uh, Hatters a 25-18 lead. Third quarter, HH up 25-20. When Lower Moreland star, Lauren Killian drives and scores to pull the Lions within three points. Fourth quarter early. Hatters up eight points. Moving the ball around well. They find Cassidy Quattro in the middle and this beautiful post move extends the Lady Hatters lead to 10 points. Now we move late in the fourth quarter, 54 seconds left. Hatters just up six points and having trouble with the press, turn the ball over. So Lower Moreland can capitalize and pull within three. And they just do that. Erica Fleck hits his three pointer and the Hatters lead is diminished. Fourth quarter. Remaining seconds left, Lower Moreland trying to score, they can't do it. Bergen Sims gets fouled to ice the game for the Lady Hatters and the final score, Lower Moreland 39, Happer Horsham 44. The Lady Hatters move to two and one on the season. Congratulations to the Lady Hatters for their win against the Lower Moreland Lions. HHTV will broadcast two more games on December 22nd and January 7th. Before the girls' basketball season began, HHTV sports broadcaster Bill Rowland sat down with senior forward Haley Seifert to discuss her senior year as both a player and a student. Take a look. Thanks, Jake. With me today is Haley Seifert, a senior on the Lady Hatters basketball team. Haley, welcome to the show today. Thank you. My first question for you is today, since you've been on the basketball team for the past four years, Who's been your best teammate in those four years? Definitely Cassie Quattro. She's been there playing with me ever since we were very little. Um, she pushes me to work harder. Um, it's definitely like reciprocated that way. Um, she's always supportive. She always helps me with anything I need, questions. Like, and she's always just a fun person to be around. You have committed to college. I have. Well, uh, where? What college are you going to? And what do you decide to major in? I am going to Allegheny College and I'm going to major in international business and I also want to do something with Spanish. And you are playing basketball in Allegheny, correct? I am. Okay. So you've been, been on the team for the past four years. What's the best memory you've had? Um, there's not one in particular. I just really like being around all the girls. Definitely like bonding with them all like at pasta parties and we always know how to like have a fun time. So another thing for you is being in HH all these four years, vol through volunteering experience, community service, or just being part of the school community, what's the best memory you've had from being a student here at Hatboro Horsham? I think one thing that stands out for every student at Hatboro Horsham is red and black. Red and black is definitely one of my favorite things. Um, also, Link Crew. Link Crew has like been a huge part of my senior year, and definitely like forming a bond with like my partner and like um, meeting all the different freshmen and doing different activities that like build you as a person. And my final question for you today is, if there was one memento you could bring from Happer Horsham High School or any other schools in the district that you went to, middle school, elementary school, what, could you, what would you want to take with you and why would you want to take it with you to college? Um, one thing that's helped me th all throughout high school has been like the close relationships that I've built with like my friends and everything and b going into college like Allegheny is such a small school that just like Hepper Horsham is and just building like small relationships and like really like learning how to communicate with others and like building that trust between people like is really going to help me next year. All right, thank you. It's been a pleasure having you as my guest Haley. Good luck with this year and off to college. Now. Back to Jake. 
Thanks for that interview, Bill, and good luck to Haley this year as she looks to lead the Lady Hatters to a breakout season. On to other news, lacrosse has always been a sport that both the girls and boys excel in at Hapro Horsham. It is not unusual for these programs to produce college athletes every year. This year, the girls lacrosse team hit the jackpot with four girls receiving scholarships to play lacrosse in college. HHTV was there to capture the moment. Here's my report on their special day. Congratulations. We've been playing together since we were like six years old, playing soccer together, and then continuing with high school lacrosse and everything. They like push us, each other to be our best. That's great. So I'm going to start with you, Carly. Why Westchester? Um, I just loved Westchester. Like as soon as I stepped on the campus and the girls across team seemed like they genuinely like really love the school and love each other. And that's really important because I don't want to obviously regret going to a school and playing lacrosse there. So I think it's a perfect balance between like a school and lacrosse and it's not going to overwhelm me. <coughs> with lacrosse, playing with all of these girls since we've been playing together for so long, like the memories we've had on and off the field are just something that I always cherish close to my heart. <laughs> Why Delaware? Why do you want to be a Blue Hen? <laughs> um, I love Delaware. The geographic location is perfect. Not too far. It's not too close. And the... <laughs> The team environment was, I could just tell that all the girls loved being there and it's a great school with a lot of different majors that can like lead me to a good career path down the road. My teammates, like we've had just such an amazing experience and red and black has definitely been one of my favorite things so that's something I'll never forget. University of Massachusetts Lowell, tell me about it. I didn't hear about it until like the coach reached out to me but when I visited the campus I really liked it. It has a really like, I think it's in a really good spot and even though it's like far away from home, like I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> um, the coaches there are really nice and they just really helped me and uh, the team, the girls on the team are just so nice and welcoming. Why Millersville? Um, I really liked the location of it, it's not too close, not too far. Um, the team seems really nice and everyone's really welcoming and I really liked the campus. I'm definitely going to miss everyone, all the teammates. We're definitely like a family so I'm going to miss that. A lot. If you have decided to major, what are you going to major in? I'm going to major in sports management. I'm undeclared. I'm majoring in exercise science. I think I want to major in communications yeah. um, and like journalism, something like that. Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for coming. Okay, girls, sign away. Signing our lives away. <laughs> Congratulations to Morgan, Keeley, Carly, and Sydney as they announce the next chapter in their education and sports careers. Up next, Bill sits down with a football player who set the all-time Hatters record for passing. His performance over the last few years is legendary, and Bill Rowland has this exclusive interview. Check it out. Hello everyone. With me today is Casey Walsh, senior quarterback for the Happer Horsham football team who had an outstanding career in the past four years. Casey, welcome to the show. It's truly a privilege to have you here. Thanks for having me. So, this year, Upper Moreland, congratulations to them. They made it to the state playoffs, mm -hmm. which unfortunately means no Thanksgiving game. How are you feeling about that? Really, it hurts a lot, especially for us seniors. We've waited all three years to have our Thanksgiving game against the rival town down the street. It just, it really, it really hurts, you know? So, throughout you know, the past couple of years, students and the fans here at Hopper Horse were giving you the nickname Casey Football. You are the leading passer in history here at Hopper Horsham. How does that feel? I mean, it's an honor, really. All the great quarterbacks that have come through this, uh, this school throughout the years, and it's really a big testament to our team, not only the players, but the coaches through the years, all the hard work we put in. I know it says my name on the ball, but it should be all our names, really. Now, you had an outstanding run as a team this year. You know, you guys won four games mm -hmm. in the league, tied for first at one point with Upper Dublin. What was it like being part of the Hatters down on the field during that stretch? I mean, it was great. It just felt like finally we were starting to get recognition for all the work we put in in the offseason and everything. And all the players felt great about themselves, were confident in our team and the coaches, everything. And you, you guys had a great run and yeah. you, you've seen the fans coming out you know at one point it was 43 degrees the pink game kids were painting themselves pink yeah 
what is it like to be a player down on the field with such a big fan section? It's great that you know you have your fans on your back and you just want to go out and show out for them, you know? So, another thing is with, you know, you've had the memories for the past four years. What is your best memory being in football here at Happer Horse? I think it's got to be my second start back sophomore year, playing against Quakertown, going down there, away game, they had a big crowd. We beat them in every time. It was the first time I really showed out and thought, hey, maybe I can do this, you know, maybe I can be good at this. My final question for you today, it's kind of a big one. Mm -hmm. You've been Happer Horsham kids since elementary school, middle school, and now through high school. You're a graduating senior this year. If you could take one thing away from any school you've been to, Mm -hmm. What would it be that you'd want to take on to college? It's got to be the friendships you build with not only the players around you, but the coaches, that bond you have working all season when everyone's out doing whatever. Friday nights under the lights, the friendships, like none other. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's really been a pleasure having you as my guest, Casey. Congratulations on a terrific career and a great season this year with Happer Horsham. I'm Bill Rowland. Thank you for watching this edition of the Hatter Sports Report. Thanks for that interview, Bill, and good luck to Casey as he looks to continue his playing career at the next level. Well, that will do it for this edition of Hatter Sports Report. I'm Jake Lindenau. Now back to the news desk.